Go on now, Rex. Go lie down. Can't you see I'm reading my book right now? Go lie down. Rex, no! That is not what my leg is for. Reginald, what did I tell you about keeping that beast indoors? Oh, have a heart, my love. He looked so lonely outside in the kennel. No excuses. Out with you. Out! I hope you don't mind, but Lord Stillsby is coming to visit this evening. Yes, that sounds quite fine. I thought perhaps I could entertain him here in the sitting room. What? But I'm reading my book. You're welcome to join us if you'd like, my darling. That man is such a bore. I don't know what you see in him. Now, now. It's always nice to have admirers, even if they have no hope of fulfilling their wishful desires. Well, in that case, you can entertain him in your room. Why must you always be so impossible? We're married. That's what husbands are supposed to do. Fine. But you must know he'll view that as an invitation. That sycophantic ignoramus. <laughs> he wouldn't know an invitation from a bollywag. Have a nice visit. And this, Lord Stillsby, is my private room. You've never shown me the upper chambers before. So you don't share a room with Lord Faversham? No. No. He prefers to sleep in the kennel with the dog. <laughs> You're quite the joker, Lady Vanessa. It's one of the many reasons I find you so enchanting. Lord Stisby, I am undeserving of such praise. You are more than deserving, my sweet lady. All these years I've known you, and never have I wavered in my devotion. Your loyalty is most appreciated, my lord, as has been your financial arrangements on my husband's behalf. Yes, your husband who sleeps in another room. I'd give all the money in the world to see your face wake up beside me in the morning. Lord Stillsby. Let's not play games anymore, Vanessa. You know how I feel about you, and it's obvious you have no love left for your husband. That is not true. You haven't been intimate with him in years, if you ever have. Give yourself to me, and I will satisfy your every desire. I truly doubt you could achieve that. Still, you rebuff me. I offer you the world on a platter and you dare to refuse me. No, you don't understand. I haven't been intimate with any man. So that's the tack you're going to take? Well, two can play at that, my dear. What on earth do you mean? It would truly be a shame if the authorities were to find out about Lord Faversham's proclivity for naked young men. How do you? Yes, I know. And I won't be the only one if you refuse my advances any longer. How dare you, you barbarian! The choice is up to you. Submit to me, or your husband will rot in a jail cell. I... 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 I submit to you, Lord Stillsby. Yes. I've wanted you as my left-handed wife for an eternity. Say something naughty to me. What? Tell me how my live rabbit makes your parsley bed tremble. Your live rabbit makes my parsley bed tremble. Yes. <laughs> Tell me more. Um, my flytrap yearns for your bushwhacker. You're going to love my bushwhacker. It'll go up your petticoat like a donkey hung kidney wiper. Enough! I don't want anything to do with you, donkey hung kidney wiper. It's far too late for that now, you little cock trap. I'm going to take you by whatever force is necessary. And after I have taken my reward, I will make sure your husband is locked away forever. <laughs> You've saved me. No ruffian gets to treat my lady like a ninepence knick-knack. Is he... is he dead? Oh. 
Yes, my lady. My heart is pounding. So is mine. I never thought I'd last for a servant girl. There's a first time for everything, my lady. First, let me feel your kettle drums. What about the body? Oh yes, the body. All over the body. No, I mean Lord Steelsby. Oh. Oh, damn it. Just when I was about to get my chinny itched. Oh, come on then, let's pick him up. Enjoying your book, my darling? Yes, very much. How was your visit with Lord Stillsby? I'm afraid I'm quite done with Lord Stillsby. He's just so unbearably tedious. Well, that's a reasonable explanation. I told you he was an ignoramus. Yes, you were right. We're going to throw out some rubbish and then I'm off to bed. Very well. Good night, my love. Mm. Now you stay quiet, Rex. I think we got away with it. <laughs> 